It is the Wine Sisters Cottage Edition. Friends, I am coming to you from my vacation spot on the Bruce Peninsula in Ontario. And today I'm gonna to show you a summer worthy and cottage worthy, easy breezy cocktail. Let's do it. Hello wine lovers, I'm Erin, the founder and chief sommelier here at the Wine Sisters and welcome to our YouTube channel where every week we show you how to eat, drink and entertain like a pro. If you've been watching for a while, you probably are like, hey, she's somewhere different and you're absolutely right. I'm on vacation for August. I'm on the Bruce Peninsula of beautiful Ontario, Canada and the waters are crystal clear, the sun is bright. The wind is blowing, so hopefully you can hear me just fine, but the living is easy. And with that ease, I'm gonna show you how to make an excellent summer sangria that is reminiscent of the sunsets we get here in cottage country. I'm not really sure what it's called. Maybe I can call it something really romantic, like cottage sunset or cottage at dusk, but I'm terrible at coming up with names. So if you have a better name, leave it in the comments below. But it's actually gonna be based out of this really cool Empress Gin. This you'll see is this beautiful purple color and this Empress Gin is distilled in Victoria, BC. It's named after the iconic hotel that's in Victoria and 1908 is the year that the hotel was built. It's used uh, also part of the gin infusion is some of the tea that is used as their most popular tea at high tea. And to get this really nice purple color is the blue pea protein or the blue pea flower. Something to do with blue pea. Something to do with that. Anyway, let's just get right into it. So into my wine glass filled with ice, and yes, this one is acrylic because we don't want broken glass on the dock. Safety first, always. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in, let me use my makeshift bar just fine. We're going to have the beautiful stunner of this purple color. I'm going to use an ounce and a half. Look at that color. I'm going to use three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. The wind is a blowing, so you have to have a sense of whimsy when you're making your drink stock side. I'm going to use a full ounce of pomegranate juice. This is the healthy quotient of the drink. In it goes, look at the color. And now we're gonna use four ounces of white wine. I like Sauvignon Blanc for this, a mild Sauvignon Blanc, maybe from the Languedoc or Bordeaux, but you can certainly use Pinot Grigio or an unoaked Chardonnay. You just don't want something with a ton and ton of flavor that will compete or clash with the flavors that are already going on. So into our glass, we pour in our four ounces of white wine. And finally, the piece de resistance. Well, not really, but it makes it bubbly and fun. And who doesn't like bubbly and fun? Top it with a little bit of soda water. Look how pretty that is. And now I've got a couple of wild blueberries. These are blueberries from around these here parts. We've got some strawberries. I'm just gonna garnish with some strawberries and some blueberries. Forgive my fingers, it is the cottage. It's country living, it's summertime. We're enjoying everything. And this, my friends, is our gorgeous gin-based summer sangria. I hope you love this drink. It's absolutely exquisite, super fantastic for all of your dockside and lakeside sipping. Please leave us a comment below if you found this video helpful. Share it with your friends. We love to get the good word of how to eat, drink, and entertain like a pro to everyone so we can all have a good amount of fun. But thanks so much for watching. The way you can help us and support us even more is to leave us a positive review, give us a thumbs up, maybe hit that subscribe button so you can be alerted to a new video that will drop every single week. We'll be back next week from the cottage. Until then, stay well, drink better. <laughs>